What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk, and today is March 25th, 2023, in case you didn't know. Now you know. Now the movie theaters is getting jam-packed, and all the guys are rushing to the theaters to go see that brand new John Wick 4 movie. Now, as of today, I am all caught up with the first three movies. Before today, I had not seen one John Wick movie. That is true. John Wick, first one came out. Didn't really care about it. But then John Wick 2 came out. I was like, oh, that means the first one must have been good because they made a sequel. And then, guess what? I still didn't go see it. Then there was John Wick 3. And I was like, hey, isn't that Halle Berry? Hey, I didn't know that um, the guy from The Matrix is in this movie franchise. It's nice to see them back together. And... What is it? Morbius and Neo? Um, Lawrence Fishburne, I think that's his name. The guy from the Boys in the Hood plays the father. And I was like, huh, interesting. So they made three movies. And then there was an announcement that John Wick 4 was coming. And then we got the trailer. And I'm like, I still haven't seen these movies. So the movie finally came out. I believe it came out on Friday. Today is Saturday. So it came out yesterday. But the real movie goers know that the movie already came out on Thursday. For those that can't wait. And the movie has been getting great reviews. Saying it's the best of the saga. The best one since the first one. This one is art. This one has scenes that... Action scenes that you're going to want to see and enjoy. So before I can run to the movie theater and go check out this movie... I had to go see the first one. I had to go see the first one, right? Luckily for me, I have Peacock, the streaming service, and they have all three movies. So I said, you know what? I'm going to check it out. Yesterday, I came home from work, got my little Domino's, which is 50% off right now if you order this weekend from March 20th to the 24th. So I guess that was last night. <laughs> I got it in. I got my Domino's. It was 50% off. And my next pizza delivery will be free nice um so back to john wick this movie came out in 2014 today is 2023 so this movie came out a while ago the box office was around 20 to 30 million the director is named chad stansky chad stansky and then john wick 2 came out in 2017 the box office for that movie was 171.5 million hallelujah they made more money then they had to make john wick chapter 3 which made 327.3 million wow the movie just keeps getting more money more money at the box office so why wouldn't they make a fourth one and the fourth one has already been buzzing that is going to be breaking all those records so i started watching john wick i remember sometime last year and i made it to half the movie the movie for me when the, i watched the first time was kind of slow i remember what happened in the movie that i saw the first part that i saw and i remember these guys come into john wick's house they break in and I'm not sure if the wife was in it, but I do remember that they killed his dog and they stole his car. And John Wick out of nowhere just becomes like this badass assassin who's out for revenge for these guys who killed his dog and stole his car. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those that don't know things that you do not mess with when it comes to men, you do not mess with his dog because that's dog's best friend. You don't mess with a man's car and you don't mess with a guy's family. Those are the things that you don't mess with. And if you don't want them to mess with you, you don't mess with those things. Everybody knows that. So John Wick, after watching where I left off 
last year i picked up where i left off and finished the movie and i gotta tell you i saw some things that i could not believe some action scenes some fighting scenes some shooting scenes i'm like damn this was killing people left and right like ways that you can't even imagine like how many ways like if you ask the question how many ways is there to kill someone then you gotta watch the john wick franchise because you will lose how many ways you can kill somebody. You will lose the body count of how many people die in each movie. So I'm like, yeah, damn. So John Wick, one of the first things that they keep saying a lot in the first film is, are you back? Are you back? And I think they were using the same term for Keanu. Because ever since Keanu did The Matrix, he hasn't really been hot. His name hasn't really been up there but ever since john wick it gave him his name again in hollywood buzzing again so there's this line in john wick where he's like everybody keeps asking me if i'm back i thinking i'm thinking i'm back so keanu reeves is back and not only is he back he's kicking ass left right he's got a dog that kicks ass i'm like damn Today, like, I couldn't really walk. You know, I had, like, my right foot that, you know, was bothering me. And I couldn't really walk. So I said, I'm going to be in bed and I'm going to watch this trilogy. And that's exactly what I did. I watched the first movie. Then I watched the second one. The second one, John Wick 2, the opening scene, like, the opening minutes, I'm like, watching him do what he can with the car, I'm just like, well, this is going to be good. And the action does not stop, ladies and gentlemen. The action does not stop. The high table, the low table, the under table, the characters in this movie, the world that we're getting introduced. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm invested now. I'm hooked. I want to know more about this world. And that's where we get John Wick 3. John Wick 3. Man, and oh, oh, before I get into John Wick 3, let's go back to John Wick 2. So John Wick 2. You know, we got that amazing opening scene where he's just killing motherfuckers. He's going back for his car. He's whooping ass. He takes out this uncle. Then he's get he got this job offer. They blow up his house. They give him an offer. Hey, I need you to kill this lady because I want to be the kingpin of my world, my in-house, head of the house, whatever they call it. So John Wick takes the job, kills the sister. And now, the people who hired him, he goes after, shoots them in this rules of, like, you can't kill somebody in the house. And John Wick's like, this one's not going to leave. So the only way I'm going to end it is I end it now. So he blows the brains in the house. And now, the way they end this film is that he's leaving with his dog. He's become an outcast and all the assassins in the house are going to go after John Wick and kill him. And John Wick and John Wick three, we find out that there is 14 million dollars on the line. Whoever brings John Wick dead or alive. So John Wick has to find a way for him not to get killed while everybody's after him. That's pretty sick, man. That's a pretty sick trilogy. And I can tell you, if you're someone who likes action scenes, fighting scenes, gun scenes, this is the franchise for you. Take it for somebody who just finished watching the trilogy for the first time ever. You know, I definitely got to go watch it again because, you know, the terminology, the in-house and all this stuff that I'm picking up, you know, I know some to a degree, but I'm not really hooked in like all the John Wick fans, you know, like I just got on the, just got on the board, guys. I'm, I'm there with you guys, you know, I'm a fan. I'm a John Wick fan. Like, I mean, makes me want to get a suit, let my hair grow out and kick some ass, be John Wick for Halloween. But with John Wick 4 hitting theaters now and with the rumor and the buzz of this being the best of the franchise with the new characters that got involved, I'm just like... I can't wait to see it. I want to go see John Wick 4, Chapter 4. And I heard there's this crazy action scene that's like half an hour long. On um, John Wick 1, we had the scene in the house. John Wick 2, we had what? What kind of scenes, man? I'm trying to think what scene stood out for me because there's a lot of action in this movie. But I think it's the one with the motorcycles. John Wick 3. 
man, there's just so many good action scenes. Oh, man, I just, too many to name, man. There's so many in this movie. I guess you would say John Wick 3, the ones where they're like fighting in the mirrors and stuff. But, oh, man, I just can't imagine what they can do with John Wick 4, man. Because I know they have a fighting scene as people are driving in the streets and just like the way they use fighting in this movie is like watching Jackie Chan, watching Bruce Lee, but now we're watching Keanu Reeves doing action scenes and phew, it's crazy, man. If you guys haven't seen John Wick, don't be like me. Don't waste your time, especially with four movies out now. Go watch these movies and <laughs> have you guys yourself a good time because this is going to be action packed. As always, it's your boy, Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not giving you insane, not giving you something to think about or talk about, your boy, Ricky Rick, ain't doing his job. And you already know, your boy, Ricky Rick, does his job. And don't forget to like these videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. John Wick fans, if you're a John Wick fan, you better like this video. If you're a John Wick fan and you're not subscribed to the channel, you better subscribe to the channel. As always, it's your boy, Ricky Rick. Look out for that John Wick 4 review because it's coming. I'm going to see this movie because I got to go see it, man, because I, I didn't just watch three movies to not see the fourth one. I'm going to see the fourth one. Believe it or not, your boy, Ricky Rick. I'll see you soon.